Welcome back, everyone. I'm Captain Dennis with Squalls Marine Divers. We're going to do an exploratory dive today, so I invite you to join us as we descend into the Long Island Sound. After looking at some charts, we started to scan the area and came across an anomalous object on the bottom of the ocean floor. It looked promising, so we decided to get in the water and investigate. We had another calm day and we've had a unique weather pattern where it's been in the 80s in March. And that's why I think there's all this uh, particulate in the water. It almost looks like an algae bloom, but uh, it's very unusual for this time of the year. Another gorgeous day of visibility as we got down to the bottom. This was a little disconcerting as it was a large piece of animal bone. Which I have no idea how it got here or why it's here. Moving around a little bit more, we came across this pipe. It's just a pipe. Um, not really worth anything. Um, not sure if it was steel or if it was brass or if it was copper. Didn't really have anything to hit it. I'm going to turn my light on real quick, so uh, don't mind me showing you the backside of my tank. Now here's the item that we were looking for. If it's stone, it's rather unusual to just jet out of the ocean floor like this at about five or six feet. It has all kinds of things growing on it, which is to be expected when something's down here for quite a while. As I look up towards the top, it's almost got like a J formation to it. It, it bends over at an angle, which I've never seen a rock do. It's possible that this could be debris that fell off of a barge that was passing by or the barges underneath this. You can see right here, it's almost like a J. But it's definitely cut. Doesn't look organic. very interesting the plant life that's growing on this there's about four or five different types barnacles sea anemones all kinds of things on this when people talk about the Long Island Sound being devoid of life and being dirty just like them to take a second and check out this video because it's to the contrary if you ask me
down here on the bottom part of the structure, you'll see uh, a bunch of lobster warp that's gotten tangled around this. I'm sure a few people have lost their anchors or snagged their fishing lines here on numerous occasions. And as we make our way up the ascension line, be sure to check out our friends at Orbit Marine if you're interested in trying your hand at scuba diving or maybe you're already certified and you just need a refresher class. Captain Noel at Orbit specializes in local dive charters and also in dive vacations. But at this time, I'd like to say thanks so much for checking us out here. We really appreciate your support. Check us out on Facebook and be sure to like us on YouTube. Thanks again and be safe. <laughs>